DIY is not new. People have been doing this for basically ever, ever because we've always needed to make things, but we've strayed a bit recently. Right now, so many people, when they want something, they just buy something. They just, uh, they think, okay, I need something. But instead of making it, they think, oh, I'll go shopping. But rapid prototyping changes that. So if you do rapid prototyping, there's a few benefits. One, you get to make whatever you want. Two, uh, you get to watch machines uh, make your things. So if you do rapid prototyping with digital design, you get to make whatever you want, you get to watch machines create things, which is in itself a wonderful thing. It's better than TV. Watching a robot make your thing, and uh, whether it's a Dremel that's cutting something out of wood or a laser cutting acrylic, a uh, cutting plotter cutting out your awesome vinyl sticker design, the, you know, it's really absolutely spellbinding to watch. So what you need is you need an idea. That's actually the hardest part. And you have to decide to make this happen. Maybe your idea is uh, you need a bowl because you just broke yours. Or maybe your idea is you have a new idea for a letter opener or a paper shredder or whatever it is. You have to decide, hey, I've, I, I need something and I'm willing to make it and you have to commit to making it. The tools after that well, you either need to borrow them or uh, beg a friend to let you use them or rent a machine if you need to use tools that you don't have. But the idea with that is not only do you get to make something cool, but hopefully you're meeting somebody new in the process. And if you can build some community around this idea of rapid prototyping and making things, that will make you happier. So, you've got your idea. The next thing you have to do is you have to make your idea digital design. And you can do that with any type, uh, lots of programs, uh, Inkscape, Blender, these are different types of 2D and 3D engines, but really you can use anything. Your goal is to actually make your design go from your head, maybe to a drawing, and then somehow you need to get it into the computer. There's all sorts of programs to help you do this, and it's sort of out of the scope of this interview to really go through them all. There are places you can go that will let you send them a, a file and then they'll, they'll rapid prototype it for you. But I would actually recommend looking around your town, maybe for a sign manufacturer or somebody who makes trophies, because they've got all these materials too. And then just go, make friends with them, bring them cookies, whatever it takes. Bribe them and however you can to be nice to you and let you touch their tools. So the economy is in the perfect time for you to begin rapid prototyping whatever it is that you want in the world to exist. Because we, so many people have become dependent on a system that's failing. This idea of centralized manufacturing uh, made by corporations is really beginning to crack. These ideas are beginning to fail because you can't make really customized things if you have to make a million of them. And so. Right now, it's a really great opportunity, a really great time to, to subvert the dominant paradigm of centralized corporate manufacturing and start making things yourself. Hey, you could make them, you can sell them to your friends or put them on the internet and sell them to other people. You could give the plans away, you can upload the ideas to a site uh, called Thingiverse that I helped create, which is a, a file sharing site where you can share your digital designs. A revolution is starting of personal, manufacturing, making whatever you need right now. It sounds, you know, DIY sounds so, it doesn't sound very threatening, but imagine a world where instead of buying things, everyone made what they needed, or they went to a friend who was really good at making something, and they, their friend made them what they needed. I think maybe this kind of corporate consumerism, capitalism thing we've been working on, where you work to buy things, I think we've been missing this idea of craftsmanship, of making things with their own hands. And now we're getting back to it. I think it's not necessarily something that's emerging that's new. I think we're just kind of getting back to something that's, that's profoundly human, makes us happy. I came to Rapid Prototyping because I started doing a video show where I made something every week and I made a video about how to make it. And usually at the beginning of the week, I would say, you know what, this week I want to make hovercrafts. 
and I didn't know how to make hovercrafts. And so by the end of the week, I had to have a video showing how to make them. And so I got really obsessed with making things really fast, as quickly as possible, as optimized as possible. The other thing is I just, I made a drawing robot that would take your picture and draw it with some friends that helped me. And I found it really spellbinding and I really liked watching it. When you see these tools and you see them working, at least for me, it, this thing clicked in my head that said, wow, this is something special. This is a world that is, it just opened up worlds to me and I wanted to live in that world. I've prototyped all sorts of things with the laser. I, I've made little, um, some of my favorite things are I made little action figures that are flat pack action figures that you snap out and then put together and you can make a monkey or a bunny. I had this idea that I would love to make a rapid prototyping machine that would make giant spheres made out of this construction foam that's used for um, insulation. It's really toxic stuff. I'm, I hope I can find something better than that. But I think it would be really fun to build up a giant sphere of it on the top of a building and then roll the sphere off the building and of course you know make sure nobody's underneath it and then have it smash on the ground and then have the machine start building another. That's not practical at all but I think it would be it would be beautiful. Speed is important because if you want something in general you want it now and so faster is better. <laughs>